Yeah, yeah. And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show. My name is Gabor. Hey, welcome along. I'm Alex, and this is the Warm Audio Foxy Tone Box. Yes, yes. Big thank you to the awesome people uh, at Studio Connections in Australia, who mm. are hey. the Australian distributors for Warm Audio, for letting us uh, have a bit of a play with this. And they're not getting it back. Sorry, Paul. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. I'm, I'm keeping it. Um, so Warm Audio, up until recently, have just mainly done studio gear uh, yep. microphones and preamps and compressors and that kind of thing. And um, so now they're getting into the pedal well. This is one, yes. of, one of two one first of releases. Two that they've yeah. done, yeah, yeah. And uh, uh, we we got a hold of one of those. Apparently they're quite hard to get a hold of too because people buy them very quickly and mm. they roll off the shelf. So uh, yeah. it's orange, it's fuzzy. It is actually fuzzy. It's actually It actually is, yeah. It's, you have to touch it. I think you have to, touch I think, <laughs> you have to touch, put your special gloves on and touch it. Um, I, think it's, I think it's called Flocked. Oh, the, the actual thing. So it's where they... Um, it, I played a guitar like that um, at 42 Gear Street last year as well, Tom, Tom Fuchs' guitar, and the guitar was flocked, and it's they do this thing, it's like an electrostatic thing. Sure. Where right. it's it's this sort of like fluffy it. thing? I don't know, I don't know. It's like a fuzzy thing, and they kind of somehow... It goes on there. It's called flocking. Flock me. So I think it's flocked, yeah. Wow. Flock you. Yeah. <laughs> Get flocked. <laughs> Uh, if you like and subscribe on the video and give us a thumbs up and also comments and questions below. Yeah, yes, um, please, yes, please. So the setup today, we've both got Eastwoods to start with, but some other guitars coming too. This is the Twin Tone, Airline Twin Tone Tone. And you've got the Baritone. The Side Jack Deluxe. You can watch a video. On which one? Baritone. Here. Yeah. But there's links to both videos below. Uh, and then we're going into the... Guitar Amp, which is a... <laughs> Cherry Tone, uh, what is it called? Creme Brulee. This today, and it's going into a ISO cab with a green back in it, slash green back in it. Yeah. Mike with the Lewitt MTP440. Hello, Lewitt people. Sure. And we also have the angle cab loader uh, in there. And if you are interested, which is, mm. has got a, a 4x12 green back cabinet, I believe, uh, which is blenderized with the 1x12, the actual real, um, that's the technical terms, the real cabinet. Uh, and if you're interested in uh, any Celestion Plus IRs, there's a link below. Uh, which is an affiliate link. So if you click on it, you don't have to buy that particular um, speaker IR. You can buy any IR, but if you click on the link, you're helping out the show with that. So mm. that would be greatly appreciated. Cool. So that's a setup. And yes. the pedals here, and it's orange and fuzzy. Yes. Should we... Oh, so controls. Well, I, I sort of tried to put the the yep. camera on a bit of an angle because the, the controls are on the front. Um, they are labelled on the top. They're labelled on the top. It's a volume sustain. This is the octave sustain switch, adds the oct higher octave. Yeah. And the fuzz, mellow bright. It's basically a tone controller, so you go from mellow to bright. Yeah. To the right. Yeah. That's it. That's it. And it's fuzzy and orange. Yes. Do you, do you want to start or do you want me to start? Yeah, sure. Can you start? I might actually go away from this for a little bit and go to the other guitar and then come back to the baritone cool. later on. Uh, clean horses. tone on the um, twi twin, twin tone. Twin tone, clean tone. So let's do the old, it's probably hard to see, but let's do the old everything at 12 o'clock yep. uh, and see what happens. Uh, so the, the octave thing is off at the moment. Even when it's off, you still get some of those octave artifacts, yeah. especially on the tails of yep. uh, sustain notes. So that was a gain. So that's that one's a gain. So it went all the way up. Let's uh, I, I turn the volume down a little bit because it gets quite loud. Um, let's now check out the uh, the tone with sure. the. I'll, I'll keep the fuzz roughly in the middle, and we'll check out the tone.
fun. It sounds cool. It's I, I really dig this fuzz. Um, so, to me, when you're going a little bit to the so it, 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 they call it mellow and bright. So all the way counterclockwise is mellow. All the way clockwise is bright. Um, and to me, when you go a little bit to the mellower side, it almost gets that little bit scoopy kind of big muffy kind of vibe going. Yeah. Whereas if you go to the bright side, it seems to go more to that kind of uh, tone bender esque esque. But I mean, it's its own thing. I mean, yeah. this is based on if people don't know, uh, there was a pedal that looked almost exactly like that, and it was a purple version and it was a red version, I think, both fuzzy, which was the Fox. Two X's tone machine, mm. and it's meant to be, I think, an exact replication of that. Basically, I've never had the pleasure of playing an exact like the the original one. Yep. But um, I've played copies of it, mm. um, and cool. this. But this one, it just looks super cool. I really like it. Do you want to go on your jazz? Yep. Box. Uh, this is the Parts Master Caster Blaster Caster Master Blaster Caster Master Blaster. There's a video for that. There, uh, Martin A. Smith pickups. Oh, mm. Uh, and clean, it sounds actually. So with that, again, now with the tone down a little bit, it has that kind of... That kind of vibe. To so me, um, it's a bit more like distortion than, than the fuzz thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then if we if we crank the fuzz, I, I'm all the way up now. Let's go all the way up and and put it sort of roughly in the middle. It changes character. It gets that angriness. Mm. To me, the brighter thing is more angry. Well, I guess, I guess it it says mellow and bright, but to me, it's more like mellow and angry. Okay. That sort of to me, pissed off. Pissed off. Um, it's killer. I dig it. I dig it. It's a fun, fun fuzz. Let's let's quickly try. Let's do switch the switch. Just where it was before. So this is this is before. This is after. So this is where wow. you need to go a little bit mellow at times. So especially the high. When you're playing lower notes, it just sounds like an angry bee kind of thing. Wasp, a, sw a swarm of wasps. But once you go higher, you can really hear that octave, that higher octave. So you don't really hear it down there, but once you go up. And then double stops too. You hear that cool glitchiness. It's, <laughs> wow, it's very angry sounding. Someone gets tortured there. It might, reminds me a little bit as well of the, um, maybe we should do shootout, the um, Fender Blender. Oh yeah, sure. There's some similarities there. Should um, we um, check out some P90s? Let's. Um, just uh, without the effect. This so is this clean. Is the Larave RS2, I think. Yep. A lot of people ask us about that one. It's a guitar. Guitar made by Larave. Yeah, it's blue. RS2. Blue. Blue. <laughs>
like that. Okay, now let, let's do... Actually, let's check that out. And it's... Uh, so the gain... Again, you probably can't necessarily see that all that well. But the gain is quite low. So I, I'm on about... Let's say 9 o'clock right now. I'm going to bring it up and yeah. see what happens... How it changes. How much angrier it gets as I bring up the gain or sustain, as it's called here, with the... Um, the the octave switch up. <laughs> it gets very angry. That's really pissed <laughs> off. That's on the neck pickup. She cranky. <laughs> you can't play fast because it just doesn't track. But collapses. Yeah. But I mean, like, the whole the whole point of it is it is that kind of synthy riffy thing kind of like Hendrixy yeah. Octavia kind of vibe kind of thing and, and yeah synthy kind of thing um, okay let's I'll turn the how about okay let's bring the bring the gain or sustain down a little bit and I'll turn the tone down a bit as you're playing as well sure Bring the tone down, it kind of makes it, it mellows it out a little bit. Yeah, I think that's why it's mellow. It's called mellow because it mellows it out a little nope. bit. Yeah, <laughs> see, see, see what they did there. See what they did there. Um, okay, should we should we try? Actually, let's try it with uh, with with Barry. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, the octave part. Okay, so Eastwood side jack deluxe baritone. Big thank you to the awesome people at Eastwood. Um, clean on the bridge pickup. It sounds actually. Reminds me of like '60s psychedelic kind of music. Yeah, just all pentatonics. Yeah, all pentatonic yeah. And, yeah. and just that, that kind of vibe. That like yeah. that. Um, what is it? Jefferson Jefferson Airplane. Yeah. yeah. Do, won't you want somebody to love? You know that kind of <laughs> that sort of vibe. That was Jefferson Airplane, wasn't it? I think that was. Sure. Yeah, leave it in the comments below. But I think I remember. Not necessarily the song, but I remember the movie The Cable Guy. Yeah. And he does a karaoke thing. This was Jefferson Aeroplane. Uh -huh. <laughs> and he sings that song, I'm pretty sure. Anyway. <laughs> um, okay, let's try this. Don't go too low on the... Still here. There's still good note definition in it, though. Yeah, yeah. I always find like the where it's too much gain and then go back a bit to get a bit more clarity, but it still okay. sounds huge. And because I mean, we're on, on, on just, just after maybe one o'clock, yeah. twelve thirty, and and on the, this is the so, game. Especially when you're doing open strings and like melody lines, yeah. if you have too much, you just get, collapses. But there's, I mean, there's a lot there, but you can still hear it. <laughs>
almost sounds like a, when you hit Soo- a soothing. spring reverb, you hit it and yeah. does a sound. Yeah, when you, when you kick your amp. Yeah. Give, give me full gain, full gain. Let's see how angry this gets. Maybe without that. <laughs> oh. that, that is a cool noise. song just not that mad sick yeah 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 i like it i really dig it so sorry paul studio connections you're not getting yeah. it back i'm yeah. keeping this very fun i like it uh it's orange it's fuzzy oh and it makes noise too it oh, makes a orange. lot of noise the main thing is it's orange and fuzzy and i gotta say other thing i gotta say also um they feel like very sturdy pots mm. um you know i like some good knobs <laughs> what I did there uh, but no I like it uh, it, it feels there. it feels well made that's yep. a serious switch that's, that's quite a serious switch you turn a tractor on with that switch mate you can do <laughs> turn a bloody tractor on <laughs> exactly <laughs> um, um, the only thing I wish yeah but I mean it, this is an exact recreation of the original one but this is going to the original designer the only thing I wish is that this would be on another switch I had that thought too yeah um, because that would make it super duper awesomely cool. And like, then again, um, I don't know if I want to use this live because you don't want to rub the lovely that stuff off and get it all you dirty. Have to, and you have to wear socks on stage. You have to wear socks on stage. Yeah. Uh, or have it in a rack. Or just in a loop. In a drawer. Little looper. Loops yeah, I guess, and then you don't. don't yeah. A one loop switch. One loop just, just, for, just for that. Because <laughs> so you don't, Cause you don't want to wreck it. Because I've seen. I, I really like the fox stuff. Um, yeah. If if you check out, I don't know. I'm sure if uh, if you ask Mr. Google, Mr. Google will find some stuff for you. But um, there's purple or sort of bluey purple and red ones. And there was a wah that he did, like wah kind oh. of looking thing in that flocked thing. Right. And that um, there was again like that. It looked exactly the same, but it was red. one was red and one was purple. And he made a whole bunch of pedals, and they all had that kind of that fuzziness fuzzy cool. thing to it and I really dig the way they look fuzzy fuzz I always wanted one of the original ones one of the original um, uh, Fox tone machines mm. and that camera keeps moving which is annoying me but anyway what can you do hopefully it'll look alright sorry about the camera moving uh, but she cool yeah, yeah um, what do you think comments questions below yeah let it's us know it's fun I'd, I've tried it with some slide before I won't play it on the video because I'm pretty average at playing slide but it's really cool for that too yeah. Take his word for that. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out watching the uh, video. Yeah. Yeah, there's comments, questions below, and there's a link to, below to our Facebook, Instagram, and podcast. Oh, yeah, all that stuff before I'm waving. socials. And, um, yeah. Yeah, please do. See you next time. Bye-bye. Catch you.